Hello, my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Doc, where we take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. We will be covering the art of patina and shine and learn to breathe new life into old shoes. So grab your dyes and polishes and get ready to get your hands dirty. And let's dive right into today's project. I am thrilled to bring you a new unboxing J. Fitzpatrick footwear. So, if you don't know already, Justin Fitzpatrick is also the owner of the Shoe Snob blog and also has his own shoe line, this J. Fitzpatrick footwear. So this is the Meridian. So this is a very cool loafer. Here on the box you can see all the important information. We've got this forest green calf and suede. It's got the model number, the size, etc. You know, first thing I'll point out, I really do like their box. Uh, bold color is nice, but the pullout is also a, a nice feature here. So it just kind of slides right out. Got the plastic shoehorn. Pretty solid feeling uh, plastic there, pretty nice. Shoe bags, these feel exceptional. Uh, and it actually has a different, it's got like a flannel lining inside here too. So it's more like a, a little bit thicker canvas-like material on the outside and a flannel lining on the inside. This is one of the nicest shoe bags I have felt. Very impressed with that. All right, so let's open these up. I'm very excited to see these. Oh yes, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So it is kind of a darker forest green with a darker suede, darker green suede on the vamp here. Absolutely beautiful. And it's a very unique loafer. I really uh, wanted this, uh, the butterfly loafer. I don't have anything like that. You know, I've got penny loafers, but this is a unique style that uh, really appealed to me. Nice rounded toe shape. The J. Fitzpatrick um, shoe trees that came with it. Now this is not a lasted shoe tree, but my goodness, this fits in here exceptionally well. I mean, there is, there's very little give at all on the sides. I mean, it just fills in the shape of the shoe absolutely perfectly. Let's take a look at this. That is a tight fit. Um, that really feels like a, a lasted shoe tree. So this is uh, alder wood. Notice how it's hollow underneath here. It saves a lot of weight. Um, yeah, it is very lightweight. Um, but the shape on this, wow, it really just fit fantastically well. Very impressed with that. Get a, a good look at the color on this. It's absolutely stunning. I love, love this color. So this is a crust leather. I believe this is a hand-dyed crust leather. And then the suede is from Charles F. Stead. Looking at the leather insole here, a nicely padded insole, and then looking at the sole here, uh, really beautiful. This is a Goodyear welted closed channel sole. Um, I like the, the brass nails. There's a little, uh, kind of a slight bevel to the waist, not much, um, but a little bit of a shape there. And these are uh, hand lasted as well. Just looking at the stitch density, really high um, stitch density on the uppers. As well as on the sole here. Yeah, this is um, certainly higher than like Allen Edmonds, you know, more on par with like a Carmina or TLB Mallorca. The heel is uh, nicely cut to the uppers. So pretty tight heel there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I am thrilled with these. A very unique shoe. Do not have anything like this one. I don't have anything in this color. Um, 
I love the mixed material of it and just the unique uh, butterfly loafer. I gotta tell you, the, the color really has more depth to it than even what the pictures on the website look like. There's a little bit more burnishing to it. Um, really has some good depth. Love the color. You know, on this butterfly, you can see a little bit of this burnishing kind of on along the edges. Um, I'm going to shine these up. I'm going to put a little bit extra shine on the toe. I'll probably use a little bit of black, darken that up just slightly more. Um, but these look beautiful right out of the box. You know, honestly, I don't see any defects at all. They really just look and feel perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks so much uh, again, Justin. Uh, really excited to review these. Excited to get them shined up and on the feet here. I'll be wearing them this week for sure. I forgot to mention the price on these. So these are $375, which for a Goodyear welted shoe of this quality is really a pretty fantastic deal. So, you know, this comes in under uh, Allen Edmonds. You know, it's on par with TOB Mallorca and it's uh, quite a bit less than Carmina. So really a fantastic deal and I'm, I'm thrilled with these and definitely will be looking to add to uh, my collection, add some more of these. So we're going to shine these up. I've got a little bit of Saphir Mirror Gloss in neutral. I'll just put a little bit of wax on the toe here. Now I do want to be careful not to uh, get any of the wax onto the suede. Just want to keep it on the leather here on the toe. I'll add just a little bit on the heel counter as well. Nice little uh, base layer added to both of these with the neutral, and then I'm going to darken them up. I'm going to use a little bit of black. Alright, so I've got a few, got a few layers um, with the Saphir Mirror Gloss in neutral. Now I'm going to use this is Carmina wax in black. Get a little dab here. And this is a fantastic finishing wax. And it gives a great, great shine. And darken things up just a little bit further. Add just a little more burnishing to this. This really shouldn't change them too much, and I don't really want it to. Again, I'm just going for a really light, light burnishing, just a slight bit of extra depth to the color, and just a little bit of extra shine to it. Alright, got these shined up. I didn't go quite for a full mirror shine, but you know, certainly add a little bit of shine to the toe here. A little extra shine to the heel. And I gotta tell you, as I've just as I've been holding these shining them up, gosh, the more I fall in love with them. I absolutely love this pair of shoes. Uh, just beautiful, unique design. So if you haven't done so already, check out Justin Fitzpatrick. Also check out the Shoe Snob blog. Great shoe information there. I've learned a lot from his blog. And you know, this is one of those brands that you, um, if you're just getting into dress shoes, kind of getting into nicer things, you may not have heard of them. I hadn't heard of them. 
a few years ago, but this is one you don't want to miss out on. Absolutely beautiful, high quality, good year wilted in Spain, for less than $400 on most of the models. Um, now they have a patina program where they're doing some custom hand dyed patinas. So check them out. They've got some amazing button boots that I've been looking at for a few years and I'm going to have to get some. So check them out. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks again, Justin. I am thrilled with these. See you guys on the next one.